Tyler here with TT Productions. And today I am going to show you how to do a dynamic zoom in Premiere Pro. If you're not familiar with that term or technique, rewind this video to the very beginning and replay it and notice how it's slowly zooming in as the clip plays through. You can use this technique to help draw the audience in and create suspense, as well as use it uh, when recording tutorials, which I will show you in a second, to zoom in on specific parts of the uh, computer monitor to help show the audience exactly what you are clicking on. If you haven't already, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I just got a ton of new dope gear. Like for example, this iBuyPower PC. Uh, it's got 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, I believe. I don't know, whatever the 3000 millihertz is, as well as a RTX 2080 GPU. This puppy is cooking. It's cranking out 4K, 100 megabyte, 24p footage, <clears throat> like it's freaking butter. All right, love it. And it doesn't hurt that it's being displayed on my brand new 28 inch Samsung 4K monitor. Had the 32 inch last night, I had to take it back because to be honest with you, it was too big. I had to look halfway across the room to try and edit video. Uh, it was just that big, you know, either that or sit all the way across the room to try and view it. So bit the bullet, went down to the 28 and honestly much more pleased because I can fit all of it in my field of view. Also, you might have noticed, I'm shooting on the new Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4 DCDN lens for Sony APS-C cameras. Right, that is why I'm so tack sharp and look good. That last part was a subjective statement. And what else? Oh, and I have some company from China, Fifi, Fifine, I'm not exactly sure what you call them, but they're gonna be sending me here a wireless mic that they want me to review. So yeah, look forward to that. So like I said, if you haven't subscribed, hit it now. Gonna be reviewing tons of dope products. So you know, hey, is it worth investing in this stuff or should I just stick with what I've got? Yes, that's right. So I also upgraded to the Xfinity one gigabyte service, right? I got uh, the new modem router combo, the Netgear, is it C7800? <laughs> this thing's cooking. And then I also got the Netgear AC1900 wireless adapter, right? Threw that into this tower. I shit you not. When I had the, the ethernet, cat5 cable, whatever, connected to the, the router modem, I was getting like 900 megabytes down, 35 megabytes per second up. Threw in the N adapter, no cable. Did the, the speed test again, XfinitySpeedTest.com, and I got, wait for it, 900 megabytes per second down and 40 megabytes per second uploading. Nearly shit my pants. I've got to get an adult depends to clean up this mess because this thing is freaking cooking. I'm excited about it. I got this new setup. I can tear through 4K footage. I'm ready to start cranking out some stuff. So without further ado, roll opener. And we're back. All right, first thing we're gonna do is open Premiere Pro. Here we go, watch this, this is freaking neat. Yeah, I clicked on it and it opened up. I'm not sitting here for 30 seconds, it opened Premiere Pro <clears throat> like that. Gonna do a new project, let's call it Dynamic Zoom Toot. I made that up, so if you like it, don't steal it. Show for tutorial. Hit OK to create that. Ra -ta 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 -do. Next, we're going to hit Control I to import our media. Oh, and the clip that I need to import to make this video is on the SD card that is recording right now. So I'm going to get that out and dump, and dump it onto the computer so we can continue. <laughs> and we're back. We've got Premiere Pro open. We're going to hit Control I to import our media. We need to find it. I know I've got mine Ooh, on this new... SSD drive, the Evo 860, one terabyte made by Samsung. Just got that and installed it. Um, something wrong videos, Dynamic 2. And, ra -da 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 -da. man, I think it's this clip. 
hit open. Look at that, boom, it's already in there. Next, we're going to left click on it and drag and drop it onto our timeline. Remember, I always like to edit under the effects tab. Next, I always like to make sure I've got my audio time uh, units displayed. So I'm gonna right click, go down to show audio time units. That helps give me an idea how long it's going. I'm going to hit my plus button to zoom in a bit. And I need to find where that opening is. Okay, so it starts here. Time. We're going to stop it with the spacebar key, hit C, and we want to plus to zoom in, trim right before it starts. Let me see, where am I looking good? Oh, mouth open, eyes open, and we're in business. All right, gonna click right there on the timeline. That's going to cut, and let's see, where do I end up stopping? All right, and let's stop it right there. So I've got my snippet tool or cutting tool. I'm going to click there to cut. Now I'm going to hit my V key to bring back my cursor. I'm going to click on the beginning of the clip that I don't need. Hold in shift, hit delete. That'll delete it, move everything down the timeline. Now I'm going to click, uh, left click on the rest of the timeline uh, clip and hit delete as well and get rid of it. So now that I have my clip, space bar plays all the way through. We're going to go to the very beginning of it. We're going to left click on the clip to select it. Under the effects tab, we're going to go over here to under the effects control, you will see scale. And here it says 100. This means that we're at 100% zoom right now. If we hit the scale button right here, this is going to drop a little keyframe onto this timeline. That tells Premiere Pro that we want to be at 100% zoom at the beginning of the clip. Now, if we left click on this cursor here and we go all the way to the end of the clip and let go, we go back here and we change this scale, left click, and then you can just drag your mouse right or left and let's take it up to 142. When we release the left click button, that's going to drop another keyframe. Now, if we go back to the beginning of this clip and hit spacebar to play it, you will notice that it is slowly zooming in. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a dynamic zoom in Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell button ding, 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 so you're notified every time I drop some new content. Hey, till next time, keep on keeping on.